Hello, I should not have taken this job on. And I'm gonna to explain to you a lot, in a second, why I shouldn't have taken this on. Um, apart from that, you guys have been asking for some long form content, so that is exactly what we're gonna start doing. We're actually gonna start using this camera that we bought recently, and we're gonna get on it. Anyway, let me show you exactly what's been going on. Right then, so up until today, all we had was this uh, and an angle grinder. We did not have this bad boy. I'll explain what that is in a minute. These are the tiles that we've been working with. They are a glass beveled metro tile, which are about 200 pounds a square meter, which is insane. So up until today, we actually didn't have the right equipment. Um, we were trying to do it with an angle grinder and a manual tile cutter and we just could not get the cuts clean enough. So we had to pull away and come back a week later and today I've just finished uh, fitting the tiles so I've got the last of the tiles on. So this is where we're at now. We've got the last couple of tiles in and now we've got to wait for all this to dry. But these are the full ones. So there's the... But yeah, so I've got to get this grout. It's going to have a big clean down now. Going to get all this packed away, get the Ruby TS40 away. I'm going to get this Vitrex wet cutter away. We had to put a glass blade on it as well to cut through the glass. Worked an absolute treat. Um, genuinely don't think I could do a job like this without that now. Some sort of um, tool, like a wet cutter with a glass blade on is just perfect for this. So we're gonna get everything packed up, have a big tie jip whilst we wait for that adhesive to go off. And then we're gonna get everything grouted, siliconed, and we're done for today. Um, and I know this is probably a little bit of a crazy one to jump in on, just finishing a job, but I thought, you know what, what better way to start than to explain my way through this and like this is just one of the things with, with tiling um it's not always so straightforward you don't know everything i've been doing this for eight years now and there we go just hit a problem i actually had to pull off i had to order some new tools to be able to pull it off we've come back today and got it all wrapped up so and it is lovely sun is shining it's good stuff um really looking forward to getting this over the line now but anyway i'm gonna have a big tidy up uh, and i'll probably check back in with you guys either when i'm grouting or once i've grouted so i'll see you in a bit bye bye right then so we we started off trying top styles we drove to top styles doesn't open till nine o'clock so we've come to wix's which is don't open till eight, which is a little bit better. But what do you think? Okay, Sundays. Okay, CTD doesn't even open on a Sunday. I don't know what time uh, Tops Tiles open on a Sunday, but on a Saturday, should be normal opening times. I think. Let me know down in the comments anyway what you think about that. Whether you agree or whether you think it's more fair to have these shops be open at a bit of a later time. Whatever. We'll wait ten minutes now. We're going to shoot into Wix's. We're going to get some self-leveling compound. It's only self-leveling. Um, we do actually usually like to just stick to the brands, so we wanted to grab some ultra self-leveling compound, but, or Mapai, they might even sell Mapai, yeah, was it 4320 in here, or 3240, something like that, um, which is the renovation screen. If they've got that, I'll probably just grab a couple of bags of that. It's not a massive area. It's like, it's a 10 square meter floor, but like only like six square meters of it is actually like in need of the self-leveling compound because it's got a massive dip in the floor. But anyway. I'm going to shoot in here. I'll grab some of this in a bit in about 10 minutes and um, and then yeah, I'll see you once I've got it. It's in a bit. Right, so we've got our self leveling compound. I've never used this self leveling compound before, but it's a deep fill, so we've got. We've got an extra, uh, a little bit extra with that. We're not going to be having to fill that deep, but I thought so that we'll get a little bit of a a stronger one just in case we do need to um and we've got three bags i think we'll only have to use two so oh do you want a little sneak peek into the state of this van oh <laughs> um but anyway we're going to sort that out over the weekend 
Um, going to get these bags in, going to go get this quote done. And uh, I'll probably see you guys when we get to the floor to self level. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm just going to load these into the van. Right then, everyone. We're here. The weather's cleared up a little bit. It looks so moody this morning. Um, now, we have come back to a job which we, we removed all of these floor tiles about three weeks ago. Uh, we were meant to come and repair a couple of tiles down by the front here. As you can see, I've expanded from the gap there, ready for the self leveling compound. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, basically, the tile in here is really not very great. They're all coming loose. Look terrible. Um, I was meant to reply, replace a couple of tiles and I said, look, I said, if you're spending the money, I'm getting me to... <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> Repair a couple of tiles there. Which it wasn't even the same tiles because I couldn't find the same tiles, so it just wouldn't have looked good. I didn't feel comfortable charging them for something that wasn't going to look good. I said, so look, why don't... I got them a really good discount on some tiles from Easy Bathrooms. And... Um... And so it's a winner winner. You know, they're getting the whole floor done. They've saved loads of money on tiles. And I'm going to get everything redone. Um, so, as I say, I've expanded and foamed the gap down there at the bottom of the door. And that is so the self leveling compound can't run away, come out of the front of the door, and just lose it all. And then you end up with like a slope where it doesn't set properly. Um, I've done exactly the same around the waste pipes here and here. Just people being loud outside. Um, and that is it. Anywhere where there's ever any little gaps where you think a self eleven compact can seep away, you just do that. And then now what we're using, we're using a multi-surface primer, which is Ultras. Um, this is my first bottle of this, but it's great. It's really good. It's a nice bright red color. Um, as I say, it's a multi-surface primer. You can use it anywhere. You can use it on non-porous surfaces, porous surfaces, whatever. So we're just gonna get priming. I'm going to pop you there, and uh, yeah, so this is our first, first YouTube episode in a while, but let me know what you guys think, if you do want to be seeing more of this sort of stuff, let me know what you want me to be covering in the videos, we do usually use a, a roller for doing a primer, but I've absolutely battered it, so we need a new roller. The levels on this floor are really not great. But I'm just using a washboard sponge so we make sure we have a good hoover over first so there's no little bits anywhere. We just we'll rub our primer into the surface. Get into all of the little nooks and crannies. But yeah, I would love to know what you guys would like me to be covering in these longer form videos. Those of you that have been following on Instagram and TikTok, we've, uh, we've just hit 111,000 followers on Instagram. And we've just got over 100,000 followers on TikTok. Um, and that's all obviously short form content. Um, and so it's much more sort of satisfying videos of me just like compiling, you know, like an hour's worth of tiling into 60 seconds. Whereas this, I feel like it could be a bit, a little bit more informative. And, um, you know, I don't know. This is why I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna start recording, and then we can all work together for whatever you guys wanna see more of. You wanna see more how-tos, if you just want to see more days in the life of being a Tyler sort of videos, we can do that. So yeah, I've just realised I've left you guys over there, so I'm going to quickly stretch over. Bop. <sighs> and um, I'm just going to continue priming the rest of this floor. We'll leave it to set, dry. It dries in like 15, 20 minutes or something, so that's good. We're just going to put the rest of um, the tiles away. So these are the tiles that we've ordered from Easy Bathrooms. Thank you, Easy Bathrooms. Um, so they're 1200 by 600 porcelain chevron effect wood, wood effect chevron tile. Uh, so yeah, we've ordered like 10 square meters, which will be more than enough 
So we're gonna get those lo loaded into the garage, um, prime the rest of this floor, let the expanding foam dry, and then I'll be back. Right then, being quick, we've already got one uh, bucket down. So we've got our bag open, we've got our uh, uh, water in there. We're doing 3.5 litres of water, which is what it says on a bag. So we just listen, listen to the bag in this situation. So we're going to empty the whole bag into the water in the bucket. Here. Just mix that all in now. You want to mix it for about two minutes. So as you can see, it's really liquidy texture. I'm just going to keep doing this now, say we're going to do about two minutes until it's fully mixed and we're going to go pour it. Alright, I don't know how I'm going to retrieve the camera, but we'll sort that out afterwards. But, as I say, we get ourselves a living compound. We know that our dip is in the centre of the floor, but we've already wiped it all out. We just don't really have time to go over all of those details today. It's a Saturday job, we're just getting everything prepped, ready for tiling. But at some point I will be able to go over that you guys if you are interested in a little bit more detail. So we're just gonna use our float, just push it, encourage it to go into the wider parts of the room. And because it's self-leveling compound, it will just naturally, it will just naturally level out. Just pop a little bit more into the middle here, give the bucket a little swish around. We don't want it to um, separate or slet, set it's a deep fill so um, it does have like a really gritty sandy texture in it as well um, and this is to give it a bit more body so it's stronger for those deeper parts of the floor Ooh, I could probably got away with using a standard self leveling compound on this but um, it doesn't matter it's fine I'd rather just use something a little bit stronger so what we're gonna do We'll switch you guys about here now. Right, there you go. Top of the bottle of primer. What we're going to do, use our trowel, just push it around the inside of the bar, look it again. To this bucket, we've got one more bag to go. My god, I've trapped myself in a little bit here. Oh, yeah. there it ah, we did it. Sorry that I didn't get more action. This is such a small area. Look how lovely and flat it is. I wish I showed you the levels, to be honest. It's all just been a little bit of a rush. I need to get home. We need to go do a bit of shopping. Um, but man, I, I, honestly, there's n I just love the way this looks when it's um, when it's fresh, freshly laid. It just looks like a marble. Like one of those epoxy floors, isn't it? Looks fantastic. So, we're gonna have a clean up. Get everything back on the van and we're done for the day. Little Saturday jobs, quote done, floor self leveled, ready for tiling. So when we get chance, we'll come back and um, start getting some tiles down on here, which I'll probably end up recording as well. Oh my God, look at the start of me. It's one thing you'll get to know guys, is I'll just get filthy when I'm working. But anyway, that's it for today. Um, maybe this video ends here. 
maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Probably will. I think I might edit this and get it up on Sunday, and then we'll start fresh next week. Um, which actually is an interesting week to go into because it's not our, a normal week of tiling. We're going to be doing. We've got a lot of meetings on. We've got because um, some of our sponsors that have joined us this year. We've got some other little things to make and finish. So yeah, it'll be a good, interesting one. I'll be able to run through some of my projects I've got on at home. And anyway, I hope you have all enjoyed this. If you have, if you've got a spare second, please like, subscribe, share it with one of your friends, comment even. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see more of. That is so helpful to me. Um, also, go check us out on Instagram and TikTok. That's our main platform. This is going to be our new one, YouTube. Um, and anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little compilation of my Friday antics of finishing this kitchen splash back and then getting everything done today. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.